Hello, my name's Kevin, and this is my sixth lesson towards my PPL or private pilot's license. In this one, I'm flying left hand circuits at a small airfield in the UK called Fair Oaks. I found that videoing my lessons and reviewing my good points and mistakes can be really helpful in improving my techniques and flying in general. And this lesson proves to be no exception, shown in real time from beginning to end with nothing left out, ranging from the good, the bad, to the ugly. Clip up. One more. The main is single prime. So I've never done priming before. Just twist it and then. Do you want to twist and pull at the same time? Okay. Until you line the notch up with a little. All the way out. Yeah. Yeah, and then back. Yeah. And then lock it. Lock it again, yeah? That's correct. Yeah. And then with the throttle, be careful as well, because the checklist says full and free and quarter inch. Quarter of an inch is maybe that. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I it's yeah, it's a bit too much. Okay. <clears throat> Clear prop. RPM 1200, oil temperature is in the green arc. Start a warning light is out. Can you hear me? Now you should be able to hear me. Loud and clear. Did I miss that one earlier? No, so that is radios down here. Okay. okay. What about the warning light? Is that out? How many ten? Yeah, it's on. It's very low. Um, Positive though. Suction is over here. It should be between four and five. Is that right? It's about five, four point seven at the moment. Magneto, check for dead cut. Left. Back to both. Should I do both for this? And right. Yeah. And back to both. So the point of your dead cut is you are literally checking to see if the magnetos are dead. Yeah. If the mag was dead, what would happen is as soon as you twisted, as soon as you selected left, if the left mag was dead, the engine yeah. would just stop. So you don't even really care about the RPM. You go right, left, engine still runs both, engine runs yeah. right, engine still runs both. Like that. You only check the RPM when you're doing the run-up checks. Yeah, because the mags are it's flown today, so they're yeah. warm, but otherwise the mags would be cold, so they would they, they might show a large drop just because of that. Yeah, and the max difference of 50 RPM. Are you right with the RT then for taxi clearance? Sure. There is information, hello, Ferrix 024. Ferrix 024, Ferrix information, last message. 024 PA28 outside gamma request taxi for circuit to onboard. And that's Gold Boss Cross, go down to whiskey. Ferry 024, Roger, taxi order point Bravo 1 by Bravo, runway 24, left hand circuit TNH 1002, support 7010. Bravo 1 by Bravo 24, left hand 1002, 7010, Ferry 024. Okay, just put the QNH. Getting a bit of static on mine, actually. Yeah, there's a well, problem with the aircraft. It's shot between 
turn on COP2 or something that might fix it. Yes, that's better straight away. Okay, for taxiing, got clearance. Brakes. Okay. You good? Yeah. I'll reduce the power now before we start. Yeah. And release the parking brake. Toe brakes. Change over to the right, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
not that there's much difference at this point. Temperatures and pressures green, oil temperature green, green, green. Fuel gauges are fairly similar and quite full. RPM, going to bring the RPM up. Should I still have my feet on the tow brakes even if parking brake is set? Good point to hover them over the top, yeah. Ready to pounce if the parking brake releases. Okay. Carburetor heat set to hot. Max drop should be 175. Watching the RPM. Reset to cold. Magnetos check left and right. Watching the RPM. The drop 175 max left. Both. Back to right. Drop is okay. Max difference. Back to both. 50 RPM. Ammeter. Can't really see much going on here. Can I turn one of the masters off? So don't turn off the master, you can turn off the alternator. Which is this one here. Oh, that one, okay. Okay, something's definitely happening there. And equally, our low volts light isn't flashing as well. Engine temperatures and pressures green, green. On the high end, oil pressure. Read the little note above it. Oh, yes, gauge should read 10 degrees higher than normal. RPM set to idle. Bring it down gently. way down. And back up to 1200. Mixture fully rich. Magnetos on both. To heat. Should we put it on? What, what decision would you make if you're on your own? Um, I actually can't remember the rule regarding the temperature. Well, I mean, really, you got you want to look at two things, which is for ice to form, you need visible moisture and freezing conditions, don't you? Those are the two things you need. So, if there's any kind of visible moisture and or freezing conditions, get that pitot heat on. We don't have freezing conditions, but there was visible moisture on the aircraft earlier. It's been intermittent. However, it's what it is now that counts. Yeah, exactly. So not. Are you okay, okay with that? Temperature is saying it's 20 degrees. I mean, that sounds a bit ambitious. Maybe that's not quite right. There's a great big massive rain shower over there that's en route. And looking at the ground, while there's some dampness and whiteness on the ground, probably wouldn't hurt to stick it on. Okay, pizza heater on then, which also makes the compress more accurate. Uh, fuel check quantities left and right. Flaps, fine. No flaps. Not today. Instrument gauges. Harnesses and hatches are locked. Carburetor heat is set to cold. Controls full and free. Strobes on transponder. Um, that I don't know much about. So making sure the fuel pump comes on. Oh, fuel pump to on. How did I get down there on the checklist? It's not very clear checklist item. Squawk seven zero one zero. That's the one. Q and H one zero three one. Q and H we got given was one zero zero two. Ah, I was reading the wrong one. Okay, good to go. Very zero two four, Bravo one, ready for departure. Very zero two four, Roger. Take off your discretion, instant wind one eight zero degrees seven knots. Taking off the Eric zero two four. So we got a wind readout one eight zero at seven. 
meaning we got the full seven knots across. Yeah. Seven knots from the left. Okay. Reduce the power, parking brake off. Okay, approach is clear, runway is now clear.
first set of four, first stage of flaps. So pop those flaps away, we're not going to put them in quite yet. Okay. Get old, get a swing to level off base. Pointing over at that field with white, with grey building in it. Otherwise we'll bust it through. Yeah. A bit more power. Cool. So, wings level. Straight and level attitude. Now reduce power. White arc, two stages of flaps. But you don't want to be losing altitude at this point. So, get a straight and level. Two stages of flap. One, two. Now you're going to go to start the descent. So that's one. Okay, two. Two, there you go. Now going into that descent. Clear left and turn on to final. Slightly overshot. Reduce the power slightly. Max 15 degrees bank turn. Head back onto the runway centre line. Very good, two four final touching gate. Very good, two four touching gate. Discretion and step way one eight zero degrees one two knots. Touching gate very zero two four. Twelve knots across. Slightly get yourself set up for final approach now. So last stage of flap. Now you. Set for the gap. Trim feels okay. What's our speed we go for in the final? 17. Be nice and accurate. Flaps for me, please. Full power. And rotate. T's and P's are green. Positive rate. Looking for 18 knots. Feet wide. So at the climb out, set the climb attitude. Trim for the attitude. Until all that control pressure goes away. Yep. Okay. Once you trim, all you've got to do is point the nose where you want to go. Get is up and fixed. Ready to start making that left turn. Approaching 1,000 feet.
looks uh, pretty filthy up to the west to be honest. Can't really see far from the Bellic Zero two four. Roger, do you want to come through the pickup? Stand by. Pre landing checklist, fuel pump on, landing lights, mixture fully rich, car heat will now go to on. Hatches are locked, parking brake is off and fuel is on the right. Q and H is not changed. Cool, so I'm just run. As we turn to base, I'm going to demonstrate exactly what I'm looking for on this base leg, because there just seems to be a small amount of confusion here. Shall I put one stage of flapping? Not yet. Okay. Keep following through, I'm going to show you what I mean. I have control. control. So we're going to turn onto base, and I'm not going to change the configuration until we're on base leg. Not losing altitude, still keeping 1100 RPM. We can get onto base leg, and as soon as I'm now wings level on base, then I go through my motion. So, idle power, hold the attitude, speed and the white arc, boom, boom, pop the nose down, 1500. Now we're descending. What's that, two stages? That's two stages. You have control. I have control. Going to reduce the power a bit more to 1500. Yeah. Approach is clear. Turning on to finals. Yeah. Overshot again. It's because we've got this southerly wind that's yeah. always pushing. Yep. So always in the circuit, thinking wind. Yeah. Very high, going to reduce the power. Final stage of flap, okay. Good, get it in nice and early, that's exactly what, what you want to be doing. Eric 024, final touch and go, A firm, cancel, over to o'clock please. Eric 024, roger, touch and go, your discretion, instant wind, 180 degrees, 10 knots. Touch and go, Eric 024. And the car heat will now go off, okay. Fine with me. So be religious, be strict with that speed. If you've chosen 70, you've got to keep 70. Don't be afraid of dipping that nose to keep the speed. Okay. If you do dip the nose, just switch your power to keep us from descending. Okay. Runway is made, power right back. So we should come in straight with the rudder. Dip that left wing very, very slightly. Good, good. Hold it there, hold it there. Dip that left wing a little bit. Very good. Very, very good. And full power. Oh. Oh. You've got the flaps. And rotate. so I can make my turn, looking left. Much better speed maintenance, that's really good. That's 1,000 feet. I'm going to power down now, bring the nose down. Attitude. Power, trim. Attitude, there. power, trim. There you go. Get that power back, get that power back. Yeah. There you go, that's the one. There we are. That's the one. Okay. And looking to turn onto downwind. The left turn is clear. 15 degrees max bank. OK, 
a pre-landing checklist, fuel pumps on, landing lights on, mixture fully rich, car peak to on now, flaps not yet set, fuel is still on the right, parking brake is off, Q&H has not changed. Excellent altitude maintenance, that's spot on. Thank you. Slow it down slightly, as I was so hurried on the last one. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Before I make the turn. Okay. Turning on to base leg, is that alright? Awesome. Over. 30 degrees. Okay, power then, we'll come back. Two stage of flap. That's the one. Watch the motors rise there. Power back, 1500. Yeah. And get the right heading, 330. Really think about your speed on this approach. Yeah. So we start descending when we turn onto base then. Base and final is the descent leg, or the two descent legs. Going to start making that turn now. Approach is clear. 15 degrees max bank. Because on base you descend from circuit height to 500 feet above ground, and then on final you go from 500 feet above ground to the runway. Okay. Last stage of flat now. Good. Excellent. Now you've got lots of time to stabilise your approach. Yeah. Perfect. Slightly high, so I'm going to reduce the power slightly. Okay, good. Fix these things as soon as you see them. 70 knots. Good, bring that power back a bit more. More, 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 more. There you go. A bit more power. Watching the horizon and the end of the runway. Idle power, fully idle. Get your flaps away. Okay. There you go. And full power. A bit too quick on the power, I think. 60 knots and rotate. T's and P's are green, positive rate. Looking for 18 knots, VY. 240 degrees. Little bit of trim. Too much. I didn't switch. I didn't switch car beat off that time. Okay. So that can go off now. Yeah. Probably lost some power there. I should think. Yeah. So it reduces your RPM very slightly. Yeah. Very very slightly. That's 600 feet. So really turn left. Clear to the left. Max 50 degrees bank angle. Five zero degrees. Think about the wind in the circuit, where it's coming from, how you can adjust for it. Because we're getting blown one towards thousand. the airfield on that wind. 1,000, so attitude, power. Get it right back, right back, right back, right back, straight away, good. Power down to two, two. There you go. And that's approaching 1,100. Trim for that. Bit of rain here, bit of moisture, so heat is on. Good. Okay, so ready to turn on to downwind. Clear left. So yeah, on downwind you've been saying you don't have enough time as you turn on to base. We're converging with the runway on downwind, we're getting blown in. So try pointing 15 degrees right, whatever you usually point at. Yeah. So maybe that chunk of London that's on the right hand side. Yeah, got it. Try pointing at that. Very 
2024 downwind touch and go. T's and P's are good. Fuel pump on, landing lights on, mixed to fully rich. Car people will now go to on. Flaps not yet set, parking brake is off. Fuel, Q and H has not changed. Harnesses and hatches, okay. Good, so yeah, just keep pointing a little bit more to the right, because being blown. Yeah, precisely, because if it's, if it's coming from 180, it's coming straight off the right-hand side yeah, of the moment. Absolutely. That's the one. Very, very good. I'm ready to turn onto base. Station the flap. Approach looks clear. Start the descent. And bring the power back a bit more. Very good speed control. Very good. Going to make that turn now because of the wind. Good decision. Max 15 degrees of bank. Over shot. Going to fix that. Very tasty wind. Don't worry. Ferrick 024, final touch and go. Ferrick 024, touch and go, your discretion is the moment 180 degrees, 8 knots. Touch and go, Ferrick 024. Third stage of flat. Good. Car V can now come off. Good. And slightly slow. Be straight to fix it. So I'm going to bring the power right back. Very good. Flaps up and full power. That's 60 knots. Rotate. Lots of back pressure there. Zero. Weather is lovely. That's 600 feet, so I'm going to start the left hand. We are clear. 15 degrees, max bank. Looking for 150 degrees on the DI. Bring the nose down, power all the way down. Two thousand two hundred RPM, slightly low. Let's get things in trim nicely. Here we 
heading towards the same place. Visual with that traffic is just on the wing tip. See the landing line? Yes, seen. Eric 024 down with country, go visual Cessna on crosswind. Eric 024, Fort Minor. Okay, Eric 024. Pre landing checks, fuel pump on, landing lights on, car people now go on, mixture fully rich, flaps not yet set, parking brake is off, fuel is on the right. I don't know how long we've been in the air. Can you check your Yeah, watch? we've been in the air for 33 minutes. Is the right swap over That's now? Good to me. Changing over to the left. Okay, harnesses and hatches. QNH has not changed. I'm ready to make that turn. Go for it. Power will now come down all the way to 1500. Two stages of flaps, watching for the balloon. Get that trimmed. All going to happen very quickly now. It's getting lined up on 330. Almost, you're over 10 knots too slow at the moment. So, fix it. Any deviations, fix them as soon as you notice. Yes. Approach is clear. I'm going to make that, start making that turn now. Bring the power back down. Got two stages of the flap already. As I'm high, I'm going to bring the power back a bit further. Quite high now, power right down. But you brought us straight on that centre line. Oh. Very, very, very nice. Oh, look at that. Trim. Not today for sunbathing. Still high. Last stage of flap, that's three stages of flap. Car beat can now go off. Yeah. Still high. S 70 knots. Barrow 234, something over discretion, wind 212 degrees, five knots. Right on the glide slope. 024. Oh, perfect. The T's and P's are good. Slightly low, a bit more power. Ooh. Very, very nice. Runway is made. Good. Oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> Flaps up, full power. Gently to bring the power up to full. Power set. Rotator at 65. Positive rate, gear is fixed, 80 knots. A little bit of trim. Back onto 240 degrees. slightly to get 80 knots. Visibility is reducing. Approaching 1,000 feet to get it bring the power right down. And trim flat. Uh, I think probably land. Would you agree? Okay. Or would you say do another one? It's up to you. What decision would you make? I'm going to see what happens when we get a bit further down. Okay, I'm going to make that turn. Slightly high.
still got visibility, haven't we? Yeah, we do in this direction. It's just that mark coming over to there, but it's, it's whatever you want to do. I'm happy to fly or land. Um, I'll do another one if you're happy. It's all good experience. Curve 24, lay down wind, touch and go. Ferro 24, four point. We'll go Ferro 24. Fuel pump on, landing lights on, mixture fully rich, car peak goes to on, flaps not yet, parking brake is off, Q&H has not changed. Fuel is on the left, harnesses and hatches. T's and P's are green. I'm going to make that turn now. Okay. Thirty degrees max bank. Looking for three three zero degrees. And going to reduce the power down to fifteen hundred. Two stage of flat. And the trim flat. Approach is clear. Looking for seventy knots. Going to make that turn now, is that okay? Last stage of flat. Ferrex 024, flying or touch and go. Trim. Ferrex 024, touch and go, discretion 200 degrees, 7 long. Touch and go, Ferrex 024. Fix that speed, slightly slower. We're on the glide slope. Take the car beat now, now. Are you still happy with the touch and go with that? It looks fine. Visibility. Right. So it looks okay. It looks bloody horrible. It looks horrible. I'm happy to fly through. Yeah. Slightly high. Slightly right. Of course, so you're high. Reduce that power. Bring that power back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Good. Still high. We have made the runway. Power is idle. <coughs> Good. Idle power completely. Straight with the rudder. There you go. So before applying any more power, put the flaps away. Flaps away. Now I'll get the power on. There you go. Speed is increasing. That's 60 knot. Full power and rotate. Positive rate, gear is set, that's 80 knots. Getting blown off course slightly. Correct full pitch. Is it going to be a land? Which one to? I'm happy to carry on, it's up to you. I'm, uh, yeah, if you want to keep going, we'll keep going. I'm happy to. 600, I'm going to turn left, onto crosswind, and power back, approaching 1100, Down to 21,000. 2100, I 
Wilco, Arrow 024. Pre landing checklist, fuel pump on, landing light on, mixture fully rich, carb heat will go to on. Flaps not yet, QNH has changed, T's and P's are green. We are 1100 feet. Heading is good, power is good. Fuel is on the left. Fuel amounts are good. Hatches and harnesses, okay. Slightly high. I'm, uh, can I go a bit further before I? Yeah, I mean, if you want to start the turn uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, turning left onto the base. Because I mean, you can see how close we are to the boundary yeah. of Heathrow. Yeah. yeah. So when's your final approach? I mean, you're telling me you're too high. If you are too high, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't be afraid of reducing power. If you have to go to idle power, that's fine. Yeah. Fix it. Okay, I'm going to bring the power down now. 1500. Two stages are flat. One, two. Watch for the balloon. Ready to make my turn on to finals now for the wind. Four, touch and go discretion, instant wind 180 degrees, 12 knots. Touch and go, Ferro 024. What do you say, 180, 12? Thank you, Jim. Did you just say you had turned the runway lights on? Final stage of flat now. Gonna bring the power down, that's slightly high. We are high. Where are those windscreen wipers? The luxury don't have. Yeah. Just rev it up a bit and I'll have the same effect. Yeah. Still high, I'm gonna bring the power back. Trim. Should be a bit fast with this wind, though, shouldn't we? Ideally, at least add at least five knots to the approach. Speed. Yeah. Okay. Have made the runway all the way back with the power. Good. So completely idle, mate. Flat. More back pressure. More back pressure. There you go. Good. Flaps down and full power. And off we go. Very nice. Thanks. Power increasing. Full power. Sixteen knots. Rotate, positive rate, gear is fixed, looking for 80 knots. Back on course. A little bit of trim there.
circuit based on this, you need to just realign it every single every single time.
that's on to communicate. Yeah, so radios you can obviously stay on. If you have box two on, you can turn off box two. Now they where we can turn the transponder to standby because that's no longer relevant. So you can give them standby. It's a good firm press usually. There you go. And then electrics. Well, I mean, what don't we need on? Strobes can go off. Landing light can go off. Pito heat can go off. That's all fine. Good. Okay. Meters off, electrics off, 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 all off. Master switch off, fuel cock. Leave fuel cock as it is. Yeah, you can finish the check. Harnesses, security. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> fantastic flying. Very well handled, Boston. Thank you. Definitely the strongest I've had so far. During the post flight debrief, my instructor Rob was very encouraging in respect of the good aspects to my flying during the lesson, but also very firm and rightly so in regard to my lack of attention in allowing a below target airspeed situation on some of the approaches, which of course is not an acceptable scenario to be in, particularly at that stage of a flight and proximity to the ground. So in conclusion, it's really been the repeated reviewing of the footage of the lesson that's helped the importance of this issue to properly sink in. And I know it will now be my top priority during my next lesson. <laughs>